So last month I uploaded a full portfolio video of my four years as a game watch student and on that video I got this comment. I hope not to bother you but I have a feeling that this school scammed you. Now this is something me, my class and the other two game art classes have been struggling with the last two years of this education and I think it's time to talk about it. And that's why we could basically throw away most of our projects and the last two years felt like a waste of time. So five years ago I applied to an art school because I finally decided to do something with my art skills. I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do with my skills yet, but the first year at this school was perfect for that. An orientation year. Now before attending the school, when I applied to it, one of the educations was game art. But after getting accepted and starting the school year, we heard that they changed the name to Digital Design and Motion. Which we thought was no problem, it's just a name change, the teaching material would be the same. But we'll get to that later in the video. So let's split these four years into two different categories. The first two years were all about learning and the last two years were all about preparing for the exams. But we could also say that in the first two years we got the old material and in the last two years we were test subjects for new material. The first two years went by perfectly. After year one you get to choose like a more specific degree so I chose DDM because I thought that would be just the same as game art. And in year two it seemed like that was the case. They were teaching us the old game art material. Well keep in mind they already changed the name of the education to DDM. But we were happy we were getting taught how to use color theory, how to draw and shade real realistically, how the anatomy of a human body works, how to design certain concepts based off of a certain theme with the help of research, etc, etc. These were the useful things. They were teaching us how to improve our artistic skills and basically how to draw better, which is exactly what we wanted to learn. Then year three started with an internship of five months and when we came back, everything has changed. The teachers told us they came up with an entirely new way of examining us and on the first page of their holy bible were these six focus areas. Teamwork and communication, research, give meaning, designing, managing projects, and self-development. These focus areas were constantly being thrown in our faces so I'll try my best not to bore you with them. Long story short, they spent one and a half years trying to explain us how this new way of examining works while it was still a work in progress for them too. So of course what happens then? Miscommunication. I'll come back to that later but let me explain this new way of examining first. The old way was simple, you spent three years making standard assignments and then at the end of your final year you do an exam project and then you're done. The new way allows the students to use these last two years to work on their exam at their own pace. Each term you come up with a new project yourself and in the process of that you try to collect pieces of evidence showing that you worked on one or two or all five focus areas and show that you understand them and you can use them in a professional way. For three focus areas you need evidence from two projects and for the other two focus areas you need evidence from just one project. Now in our last one and a half years I would say we worked on about eight to ten projects so you'd say there's plenty of time and opportunities to collect these pieces of evidence but that's where the miscommunication fucked things up for us entirely and made us throw away basically all our projects and the evidence we had collected. By the way, it wasn't a simple process to collect these pieces of evidence. You had to prove that you worked hard enough on these focus areas so that you can cross them off your list. So you make a process document. But what happens then? You spend more time writing down your process. And you try your best to collect clear evidence by making sketches taking screenshots of mails and chats and mood boards, sending out feedback forms to teachers and fellow students, etc, etc. Then working on the project itself and actually making something that you're proud of. The portfolio tour in my previous video, those were not all the projects I worked on these past four years. I left out a handful of them because I either didn't like the end result, the end result wasn't finished, or I purely worked on 
you know, crossing off the focus areas instead of getting an actual end result. But why were almost all the projects we made useless for our exams? Yes, miscommunication, but look. What happens when the teachers are trying to explain a certain way of examining when they haven't even finished setting the ground rules for themselves? They make mistakes. They explain it to us wrongly and then later they have the freedom to say, well, it doesn't work like that anymore now. Well, actually, we figured out a better way of doing this now. But but the biggest mistake they made when they first started explaining this new way of examining to us was that the smartest way to do this is spread out the focus areas on all the projects you're gonna make these one and a half years. Just focus on one or two focus areas per project. But what happens then? They find out that the students still have no idea what they're doing because of the poor explanation from the teachers. And after half a year, most students still haven't crossed a single focus area of their list with the four projects they already made. Oh, actually two projects, because at the end of the first term, our teachers told us that the first two projects were just for practice, so they didn't count. Okay, that fucking sucks, because the project I made in that first term was like the best project I made in these four years total. And now you're telling me it was all for nothing? School year four starts and the teachers let us try one more term to work on the focus areas. But then at the start of the fourth term, Boom. The freedom to come up with your own projects is gone. We're back to getting standard assignments the teachers made for us and we suddenly have to work on all five focus areas for each project. And apparently the teachers thought that seemed to work perfectly because at the end of the fourth term, right before our exam internship, they suddenly came up with a new rule. The projects you hand in as evidence need to have evidence for all the focus areas. So why was that new rule so crushing for us? All the projects we made in the first three terms were focused on working on one or two focus areas like they told us to do. Now because they knew they fucked up and everyone could basically throw away their old projects, they presented us with an option. You get to pick out one project, by the way we made seven projects in those three terms, but you get to pick out one project to hand in for a review to see if you can cross off any focus areas with that project. But why was that useless? Because we only collected evidence for one or two focus areas per project. Not one single project had evidence for all five focus areas. And that's why we could basically throw away most of our projects and the last two years felt like a waste of time. Not only was I not proud of half the projects I made in those two years, because I had to spend most of my time collecting evidence and writing down my process, I was also super disappointed because I wasted all that time making projects that didn't even count for my exam. This new way of examining got extremely in the way of actually learning the fundamentals and developing our art skills. I could have spent all that time making projects I was actually proud of and that were useful for my portfolio. But instead I wasted a full year trying to please the teachers and we had to catch up and do all the work in the last five months. This video doesn't even capture all the trouble we went through. I didn't even mention how they're slowly turning this game art degree into a more commercialized style of education even though they already have a separate degree for that. Or how during our last exam internship we only got two of the five months to work on the focus areas and the last three months were purely on reaching our hours goal. Or how they're promoting AI to us artists. But this video is already way too long. But what do you think? Do you think I got scammed? And if you're currently attending an art school or you previously went to an art school, what did you learn and was there stuff that also went wrong? I know most people already say that art school isn't worth it, but my my experience at this art school really was the last straw. By the way, if you want to watch that full portfolio video, click on the video right here. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more art related content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!